I'm not Callie Lewis. I've got to nail the pun, people. Water on Mars, an electroshock alarm clock, and how you can taste 115 year old scotch discovered buried in Antarctica. I'm John P. Geek Beat begins. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. More evidence of water on Mars continues to pour into NASA. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has beamed back photos of what appears to have once been a large lake inside the McLaughlin Crater. While down on the surface, the Curiosity rover has videoed close-up shots of what appear to be dried up beds of Yellowknife Bay, complete with rocks around an ancient shoreline that appear to have been eroded by water. Back on Earth, a Connecticut high school astronomy teacher has discovered some overlooked Hubble telescope images of a star nursery in the large Magellanic, 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 you guys know what it is, cloud. It's about 200,000 light years from Earth. Why couldn't they just call it the Magellan Cloud? I mean, we know who it's named after. Anyway, and if you've ever wondered what hyperspace might look like, forget the view from Star Wars. Due to the Doppler effect on the wavelength of radiation from moving sources, hitting the gas pedal on the Millennium Falcon or going to warp aboard the Enterprise would look like a bright glow instead of streaks of light, according to physicists in the UK. Assuming you survived the jump. Sunglasses would be advisable. You know what else hyperspace, radiation, and sunglasses have in common? Well. If you're needing photos of any of these things, you'll find them all on Shutterstock.com. Seriously, I was trying to find something that Shutterstock.com didn't have. They had praying mantis, roller skates, frog legs, motor oil. After a while, I started getting sneaky. I thought about my favorite rap song, The Humpty Dance. Right, stop what you're doing, well, they did I'm not have the ruin, digital underground. Although digital underground did still bring up digitally undergroundy images. Also, they had buttermilk biscuits. buttermilk biscuits. So if you need some images for a website or a poster or a t-shirt or your new rap album, head to Shutterstock.com or install their iPad app to get started. No credit card needed. When you find the images you want, just use offer code GEEK1 to get 30% off. That's the way to do it. An MIT student who passed out from alcohol poisoning, lightweight, has devised some alcohol-aware ice cubes to warn drinkers when they're approaching their legal limit. The gel cubes contain an LED, an accelerometer, IR transceivers, and a battery. Initially, the cubes provide a bright light show as they pulse to the sounds of the party. As you drink, the cubes change color to yellow to warn you to slow down, and then to red to if you continue to drink it up. At that point, they can also trigger a text to a designated driver. <laughs> up next from MIT, the beer bong breathalyzer. Once that student is safely home from the party, he or she might want to consider the sing and shock alarm clock that first wakes you up to music, but then delivers an electroshock each time you hit the snooze button. Either you quit hitting the snooze button and go to class, or this thing eventually kills you. You choose. We're still flush with excitement over the introduction of the iPoddy at CES, so you can understand why we thought this might be the iUrinal. But alas, it's actually the anti-loneliness ramen bowl from Miso Soup Design of Taiwan. It provides a handy dock for your smartphone while you're dining alone. So you can stuff your face and surf the web at the same time. Personally, I'm still waiting for the larger eye urinal, but hey, to each his own. Finally, if you're a lover of fine scotch, here's the story you've been waiting for. A crate of 115-year-old scotch whiskey has been returned to its resting place in Antarctica after being discovered buried in permafrost beneath the hut of renowned explorer Sir William Shackelford. I just like his name, Shackelford. Fortunately for scotch lovers, one of the bottles was tapped by a hypodermic needle before being reburied, so the brewery that still bottles McKinley's blend could replicate the original recipe, including some blending with some rare 30-year-old scotch. You can order a bottle of the limited edition re-release for well under $200. <laughs> That's a lot of money. With $5 from every order benefiting the Antarctica Heritage Trust. You can find the link and more at geekbeat.tv.
I'm John P. Until our next edition, cheers. And Dave, you're going too fast. You gotta keep it in the middle, not at the top. Ready? You're too busy on your phone. That's okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm recording here, and you're, 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 you're not working the prompter because you got to play with your iPhone. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>